What's up, guys? Recently, I finished It by Stephen King, and it was my 47th Stephen King book. I'm ranking all 47 books that I have read today, but I'll only say two sentences or less about each book, summarizing my thoughts. Let me know what you think in the comments, starting this out with my least favorite Stephen King book, number 47, The Regulators. This one had a weird plot. It's the sequel to Desperation, and I liked Desperation a lot better. Number 46, The Dark Half. This was a dense read for me, though I did enjoy getting some history on Castle Rock. Number 45, Doctor Sleep. This is the sequel to The Shining, and I wanted a ghost story. I didn't get it, but it was still a joy to catch up with Danny Torrance. Number 44, The Wind Through the Keyhole. This was a little light-hearted for me, concerning it's a Dark Tower book, but all in all, I thought that the fairy tales were pretty decent. Number 43, Insomnia. This is a hard read. It took me a long time to get through this one. However, a saving grace is that this is a cornerstone of the Dark Tower. 42, Bag of Bones. I really liked the ghost story aspect in this one, but outside of that, I wasn't a big fan of the plot. 41, Black House. I had to attempt this four times before I actually finished it. However, I did enjoy catching up with Jack Sawyer, and this is a cornerstone of the tower as well. 40, Dreamcatcher. This was a book that really started well for me. I liked the characters a lot. However, it fell apart when it came to the space alien stuff. 39, Firestarter. This is actually a fairly decent book, but I thought it was kind of a ripoff of Carrie as well, and I'm partial to Carrie. 38, Wizard and Glass. When I was reading the Dark Tower series, I was really anxious to get to the tower, and because this was a backstory, a lengthy backstory, it read fairly slow for me. However, I'm looking forward to a reread on my way back to the tower. 37, Rose Matter. This was a book that started good for me, and I empathized with Rose, the main character, but I also thought it got kind of silly when it came to the stuff with the painting. 36, The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. My least favorite Stephen King short story collection. However, my favorites in this one were Blockade Billy and Drunken Fireworks. 35, If It Bleeds. This is my least favorite collections of four novellas. In this one, I enjoyed the first two stories, wasn't as big a fan of the second two. 34, Finders Keepers, the second installment in the Bill Hodges trilogy. This is a reader's read all about books. I thought it was a pretty good story, but I didn't enjoy it as much as the first book, Mr. Mercedes. 33, Elevation. This one was a little underwhelming, but I did enjoy the stroll through Castle Rock. 32, Lisey's Story. This one was a little slow to start for me, but I really liked the second half of the book. 31, Gwendy's Button Box. Nothing spectacular, but I did enjoy the Dark Tower connections. Randall Flagg is back for this one. Number 30, Christine. A good set of characters here, but I also felt it was a little on the lengthy side. 29, The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. A little lacking in the pacing area, but I thought it was a pretty good and gruesome read. 28, Revival, Stephen King's Frankenstein. This was a brilliant idea that started really good, but I felt that it fell a little flat. 27, From a Buick 8. Great cast of characters. I absolutely loved the car in this one, but at the same time, it reads a little on the slow side. 26, The Wastelands. This is a fun trip 
with Oi and the gang through the city of Lud. It's all 19. Number 25, The Talisman. A very successful mixing of horror and fantasy, I particularly liked the character Wolf. 24, Salem's Lot. Really vicious vampires. Not as good a vampire book as Interview with the Vampire, but it's a good read nonetheless. Number 23, It. This one has me internally polarized. I really liked The Losers Club and The Monster, but I wasn't a big fan of the ending. Number 22, Blaze. This is a book that really caught me by surprise. A brilliant take on John Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. Number 21, Carrie, is a surprisingly good novel for a debut novel. This book was psychologically and philosophically deeper than what I had expected. Number 20, Skeleton Crew, a book of short stories that I thought was very good. My favorites were The Mist and The Ballad of the Flexible Bullet. 19, Just After Sunset, another good book of short stories. My favorites were The Cat from Hell and N. 18, The Eyes of the Dragon. I love the fact that Randall Flagg plays the evil Merlin. In this Arthurian-type tale, I also enjoyed catching up on some gunslinger lineage. 17, The Shining. Now, this is a ghost story that lives up to its reputation. I cannot wait for a reread on this one. Number 16, Everything's Eventual, a fantastic collection of short stories with a lot of Dark Tower influence. My favorites in this one are The Man in the Black Suit and the Dark Tower series prelude, The Little Sisters of Eulyria. Number 15, The Dark Tower. This book was a lot of fun for me, finally getting a conclusion to my favorite series. Although I was unsatisfied with the ending originally, it's grown on me a bit over time. 14, Mr. Mercedes. Who knew Stephen King wrote great criminal detection fiction? This is a great cast of characters and a suspenseful plot. 13, Needful Things. This is the Castle Rock novel, in my opinion. Although the ending was a bit off for me, I still hold this one among my favorites. 12, Song of Susanna. Very imaginative book. The Dark Tower series takes a turn with Song of Susanna that I didn't expect but really enjoyed. Number 11, Dolores Claiborne. I was totally caught up in Dolores Claiborne's life. This is one of the best horrific dramas that I have ever read. 10, Wolves of the Kala. Now this was a lot of fun. I particularly liked the influence with Salem's Lot and the character Andy the Messenger Robot. Number nine, Four Past Midnight, my favorite collection of four novellas, The Sundog and Secret Window, Secret Garden are my favorites in this one. Eight, Desperation, my very first Stephen King novel. In this one, the characters have a ruthless challenge with a wicked nemesis. Number seven, The Gunslinger. The man in black fled across the desert and the gunslinger followed. I've read this book three times. It's one of my favorite books, and it's a great start to the Dark Tower series. Six, Misery. Stephen King does a great job generating suspense in a limited setting with this one, and Annie Wilkes is one of the most sadistic and one of the best horrific characters. Number five, 112263. I read this massive book in three days. It is a gripping and extraordinary time travel novel. 
for Duma Key, one of the least recognized and best Stephen King novels, Wireman must be the coolest Stephen King character. Maybe see? Maybe no. Number three, Under the Dome, a lengthy novel that is packed with suspense. I couldn't get enough of this one, and it could have been even longer the way that I see it. Number two, The Drawing of the Three, the most imaginative Stephen King novel that I have ever read. Like The Gunslinger, I've read this one three times and counting, and it's a joy every time. And finally, we've arrived at my favorite Stephen King book, number one, Hearts in Atlantis, which is a collection of two novellas and three short stories. My favorites in this collection are Low Men in Yellow Coats, a novella that's all about the Dark Tower series, Hearts in Atlantis, the title novella, which is a heartfelt drama about a group of university students who are friends during the Vietnam War era, and the short story Blind Willie, which is about a man who pretends to be blind, who works as a panhandler, a beggar, in Manhattan, and he makes a fortune. Now, it's fairly uncommon for someone to cite Hearts in Atlantis as their favorite Stephen King book, but if you haven't read this one yet, I highly recommend it. It's my favorite Stephen King book and may be the best fiction book I've ever read, period. Well, there you go, guys. 47 Stephen King books ranked. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for dropping by, guys. I'll see you next time.